Hi there. This is a video about slopes of parallel and perpendicular lines. Let's quickly talk about what parallel and perpendicular lines are. Parallel lines are lines that are side by side and don't touch. Okay? Perpendicular lines, on the other hand, are lines that intersect and create a 90 degree angle. Okay, so uh, if I were to draw a picture of parallel lines, I would simply draw two parallel lines um, like so. All right, make sure we've got lines here. And to show that they're parallel, what we want to do is we want to actually label them with these arrows to show that they're parallel, okay? And so I'm going to call this line L and this line M, and we would say that line L is parallel to line M, okay? And so we'd use this notation to show that. Now, perpendicular lines, those are simply just lines like this, all right, put arrows on each side, and what we know is that they create a 90 degree angle like so, all right? And so I'm gonna call this line R and S, and the, the notation we would use for that is that R is perpendicular to S, all right? So given that um, information there, it helps us know what these are, all right? So you can draw the picture, look at the picture, look at the statement that's written here and here, and that tells you whether you have parallel or perpendicular lines. So when we're talking about the slopes of parallel and perpendicular lines, parallel lines have the same slope, okay? All right, and we'll talk more about what that looks like. Perpendicular lines have slopes so slopes that are opposite reciprocals, okay? And uh, what we mean by the word opposite reciprocal uh, is we mean flip the fraction and change the sign, okay? That's the idea. When we say the word opposite, that means that we want to change the sign, and reciprocal means you flip your fraction uh, from numerator to denominator. So let's look at a couple of examples. So what I want to do is, given the following slopes, I want to determine the parallel slopes um, given these different slopes. Now remember, parallel lines have the same slope. All right, so when I do this and I write out uh, my parallel slope, and I use this notation to show parallel slope, um, I use, I just have the same slope, okay? So if I, if I have a slope of three here, then a parallel slope is gonna be three. If I have a slope of two thirds, my parallel slope is gonna be two thirds. Um, if my slope is negative four sevenths, my parallel slope is gonna be negative four sevenths. And that's the answer. Now let's look at a couple of perpendicular slopes. All right, so given the following slopes, determine the perpendicular slopes. Now, we have the same slopes, and what I want to show you is, is the difference here, okay? So remember what we want to do, is we want to take whatever our slope is, we want to find the opposite reciprocal. And what that means is we want to flip the fraction and change the sign. So first of all, I want to write this as a fraction. So if I have a slope of 3, that's really 3 over 1. So if I'm going to write this as my perpendicular slope, then I simply rewrite this. I flip my fraction, write it as one-third, and I make it negative. Okay? Same thing with two-thirds. My perpendicular slope, I'm going to flip my fraction to get three halves and make it negative. Okay? Now, if I have a slope of, say, negative four-sevenths, my perpendicular slope is going to be flip my fraction, seven over four, and because this, an, this uh, number over here was negative, the opposite is positive, okay? So that's how you take each of these different kinds of slopes and you transform them into their perpendicular slopes. So on this example, what we want to do is look at, read it what it says. It says, given line AB, all right, draw a line through point C that is parallel to line AB. So the first thing that we have to do is we have to calculate the slope m of a b all right and what i do is I, I write out m and then i write that i'm doing this from line a b and so my slope of line a b 
Uh, and we can look at this and we can look at the stair step and say that we go up two over one, up two over one, and so on. We could also say that we go up six over three, but our slope for line M is going to be two over one, okay? Now, if we're trying to find a parallel slope, then simply all we do is just rewrite what we had and write two over one. Then what we can do is we can now use point C to now draw that line. So I'm going to use this slope of 2 over 1 and this point to generate more points and to draw a line. So I'm going to start here. I'm going to go up 2 over 1, plot a point. I'm going to start here again, go up 2 over 1, plot another point. I'm going to go down 2 to the left 1 and plot a point and so on. And we have a line here, all right? that is parallel to this line because they have the same slope. Okay, on this last question, given the line AB below, all right, draw a line through point C that is perpendicular to line AB. Now we have the same line as we had before, all right, we know that the slope of this line is positive 2 over 1, all right, so up 2 over 1. So I'm going to write out the slope uh, of line AB is going to be uh, 2 over 1. Now, if we want to write a perpendicular slope, remember what we want to do is we want to flip our fraction. Instead of 2 over 1, I'm going to write it as 1 over 2, and I'm going to change the sign and make it opposite, okay? And so we're going to use this slope here of negative 1 half to generate more points on this line, okay? So what I'm going to do is start here at point C, and I'm going to go down 1 to the right 2 and plot a point, all right? I'm going to go down 1 to the right 2, and plot a point and continue that trend going in both directions. Now what I can do here is I can combine, I can connect these and write, draw a line in between those and what we've created is we've created two lines here that are perpendicular, that are going to intersect and make 90 degrees, alright? And that's the idea. Hope you enjoyed this video. We'll talk to you soon. Thanks a lot. Bye!